Spencer, taken though by Judd. Wobbles the kick to half forward. Over the head of O'Halpin. Oh, gee, Sylvia threw it out to Davey. Morton kept his composure. Davey at half back. Beautiful kick, Jarrah. Right. Now, on. he's got Maloney wide. Wasn't the greatest of kicks, but he was in a lot of space. So he kicks towards McLean. At the back, chance for Wiggins. Little handball to Joseph. Little fumble by Russell. Allows Martin in, although he fumbled himself. Now, Bate. Jarrah. Tries to get around Judd, couldn't. Coughs it up, Cruiser. Pull a hand. Concedes ground back to Judd, who can set things up from half back. Goes back to Hulahan. Short. The mark's taken by Russell. Gives to Gibbs. Biggest possession earner out there and the most polished performer through the first half of the day. Simpson, one of Carlton's best, too. To Carazzo. Seven metres. Yep. Now Frawley and Favola continue their battle. Garland, three first half goals. Oh, Bends it off the outside of the boot. Kicks a fourth. He's on fire. That well, was magnificent, Tim, wasn't it? It was just trying to be the right. With Brendan Favola, that's what he thinks of it. How good was that? His first half was so exciting. Front and centre work. He's reading the footy and then. A little bit of Leon Davis is about this. Beautiful kick. He's so lightly built, he really looks as though he could be snapped in half in a serious collision, but he's got some skills. And he's a very interesting recruit to this Carlton group. And his opponent, Morton, was just trailing by 20 metres as he entered that contest. Carazzo taken oh, high. Right yep, Just you. get the sense Carlton might be about to click into top gear here. It's Carazzo off to Hallahan. Kick towards O'Halpin at the back. Morton does well this time in front. Holds the mark. Got Sylvia across the ground, uses him. Davey breaking for Sylvia. And Davey's got it at half back. Now not too much on for Aaron Davey, so forced to handball. Inboard to McDonald, back to Davy, chip kick to Liam Jarrett. Good really piece of blue going on in the outer wing there. You can see the back of your pitch yeah. out. Two, two on one. Now as Jarrett kicks wide to McNamara, he kicks towards half forward. Russell seizing the moment there against McLean. Hit it full tilt off to Murphy. His kick Carazzo. Now Simpson loops the handball inboard Scotland in centre wing. Judd. So Carlton working it methodically towards half forward. O'Halpin couldn't take it. Bets at the back. Big cruiser. Try to get it to O'Halpin. Good work from McDonald and Sylvia. Now Davy involved. Jetta. And McKenzie an opportunity to kick Melbourne into attack. Yeah, the water's really parting for him there. He could have gone on, but in the end he kicked and he kicked well to Robertson. <laughs> he grabbed it between his legs in the end. Uh, didn't hit the ground. It's yeah. Turned out all right for uh, Geordie McKenzie, but I think as he develops, the idea is you just keep running there. You take the space, you run to 50, and you put a bit more pressure on the defenders. But he'll say, I hit my man, and it worked out well in the end. So let's see how Robbo did trap that. Yes, he did, and it wouldn't be a day at the footy watching Melbourne without Robbo doing something like that. And the kick holds its line. He gets his second goal. Kicked 422 goals in his career prior to... This afternoon's game, Russell Robertson. It's a huge effort for a mid-sized forward to be able to consistently do it. That's not a bad trick. Mark it between your knees. Time will tell if he gets the job uh, next year. Russell Robertson, two goals. Do you think he'll get picked up next year, Luke? Not convinced. There is a chance, but uh, at 31 years of age, still capable of playing some good footy, still a capable goal kicker, but 
hard to keep players on your list once they're over 31. Yeah, you mentioned it earlier. Something needs to be done about it. As comes off the boot of Mackenzie, Sylvia. Wide into the path of Jarrah, but Murphy gets there first. The ambitious kick back inside the corridor. Maloney did superbly. Great courage going back on Jard. Hit the ground running as well. He's got Morton short and uses him. He marks on centre wing. Hold there, Jeff. So the Blues lead is 26 points. He's never really blown out. Kyle Morton. Mark to there. Jetta. And wide to McDonald. The so Demons try and find a way in. Blues have it pretty well clogged. And Anderson chopping it off. Wiggins arriving for Carlton. Bauer gives Cruiser. Aaron Joseph. Carlton able to come out of defence with the relative ease much of the time today. Davey with Frawley there. And Davey ridden into the ground. So it'll be a Melbourne free kick. It actually should advance to where Frawley was with the football, I'd have thought. But uh, Martin is loose for Melbourne, so they can make something of this. Valenti now has come off the mark. Puts it into a good spot. McLean just couldn't hang on to it. Anderson, Gibbs, and again, Carlton cut through the middle. Simpson confronted by Davey and dispossessed by Davey. That was brilliant. Kicks it back towards full fort. Wiggins couldn't quite hold, hold on, but Thornton backs him up. And kicks it short to Russell. Brock McLean is playing out of the goal square for Melbourne, and I'm not sure that, that is a role that suits him at all. He hasn't had any impact in the game. Joseph to Bauer. Left foot kick. Cloak. Stevens now has to prop. Good kick inside. Mark taken by Carazzo. He's got an option across the ground at centre half forward. Bryce Gibbs. Kick into the pocket is just too far out in front of Favola. And the boundary thrown in the fourth pocket for the Blues. It's been a bit about James Frawley's job on Brendan Favola, but it's been outstanding. He's had a couple of one on one opportunities. Brendan Favola and Frawley's competed very well. Martin, the former basketballer from behind Cloak. Here's Gibbs again. Gee, he's been good today. Betts, Carazzo. Just swinging to the spot. Favola went up with a fist at the ball. It's Melbourne's ball. It was their free kick. Sylvia comes away. Sets up Jarrah here now. Will he get a bounce? And is he quick enough? Bangs it long to a one-on-one. -on -one. Johnson from behind Thornton. Hajima rather recovered well. And hangs it over the post. But it's inside. And Mark Jamo has kicked four goals. <laughs> Someone uh, suggested to me that he might be a Coleman medalist of the future, Mark Jamar. What an afternoon for him. Tell you what he might have done, though. He might have just played himself into an extended career. Probably someone who is on the uh, brink of whether or not he goes round again. Good way to do it is to kick forward and show a bit up forward. Four goals to Mark Jamar, and the kick from Jared just didn't have enough on it to get over the head of Thornton, but what a pick-up and what a kick on the outside of the left boot. Four goals to Jamar, margin back to 20. Maloney tries to crash through. Handball towards half forward. Nice tap from Johnson to Jetta. Jamar. Another one here, be interesting. Oh, he got hands to it too, but hands in the back. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks he's going to kick 10 today, Mark Jamar? I'll try to take hangers now. Anderson to Hulahan. Kick to Scotland is effective. Just the attacking side of the wing. Wheels onto the right boot and hits Favala on the chest. Lay down. One more there. There. Half a meter up. Half a good defender, James Shaw. Just was with yeah. Favala. Toe for toe all the way there. Let him know at the end that I was just about to spoil you. He's done a great job, James Frawley. Played very well. Here he is. He's kicked a couple. Brendan Favola. 76 goals for the year from 55. Oh, it's oh. 